thanks for joining us, sporting fans. Grenada's world-renowned 400-meter champion, Karani James, will lead a star-studded field in the men's 400 meters in Oslo, Norway, later this month, as he continues his bid for a fifth Wonder Diamond League title in 2024. James, 31, is one of the most decorated athletes in Diamond League history, having claimed the Diamond Trophy in 2011, 2015, 2022, and 2023. This season, he will be hoping to make it three titles in three athletics premier circuits while aiming to win a fourth consecutive Olympic medal. The Grenadian star has good memories of Oslo, having won at the Bislett Games in 2022 en route to his third Diamond League title, beating the likes of Isaac Makwala, Zaiti Nene, and Havard Bendel Ingvalsing. The Wanda Diamond League is the premier one-day meeting series in athletics. It consists of 15 of the most prestigious events in global track and field. Athletes compete for points at the 14 series meetings in a bid to qualify for the two-day Wanda Diamond League final in Brussels on September 13 and 14. The consultative process for the implementation of the national sports policy has ended. Coordinator of Sports, Colin Peters, cites the policy as a critical component in the advancement of sports. Purpose, you know, it helps to, to structure the development of sports within your parish, to make recommendation on upgrade, to make recommendation on grassroots and grassroots development program, to make, make um, suggestions and make recommendations for support of athletes, All right. and even for the club's development within within your parish. Um, we want to be able to we want to, stru to, to to structure the growth of sports in a way that we get the support from the grassroots program. If you had to extend sports. So sports have to develop. You see, we are doing, we can develop from the top. So you want to bring back that community togetherness. You want to bring back that community grassroots and support system for all sports. Yes. So then we can grow and go stronger from the from the foundation. All right. Jalen Brown led Eastern Conference top seed Boston Celtics to an emphatic win over the Cleveland Cavaliers in Game 1 of the NBA playoff semifinal. Brown scored 32 points alongside Derek White's 25, which included seven three-pointers, as the Celtics eased to a 120-95 victory in Boston. The Celtics are chasing a record 18th NBA championship. Boston maintained control for most most of the game, holding a double-digit lead throughout the second half. Donovan Mitchell top scored for the Cavaliers with 33 points, while Evan Mobley added 17 and Darius Garland 14. Game two of the best of seven series takes place in Boston on Thursday. Meanwhile, Shea Gilgis Alexander scored 29 points as Oklahoma City Thunder earned a 117-95 win over the visiting Dallas Mavericks in the opening game of their Western Conference semifinal. Gilgis Alexander's scoring efforts were complemented by nine rebounds and nine assists as the Thunder, who have an average age of just over 23, became the youngest side in history to win an NBA playoff semifinal. Kyrie Irving scored 20 points, and Luka Doncic, who was struggling with a Sony, finished with 19 as the Mavericks stayed in contention until the final quarter. We can tell you too, the second game of the series takes place in Oklahoma City on Thursday. Sports News for now.